Nutrition Nutrition is the study of food at work in our body. Nutrition is the science that deals with all the various factors of which food is composed and the way in which proper nourishment is brought about. To live, one must eat. But we not only eat to live, what we eat also affects our ability to keep healthy, do work, to be happy and to live well. Knowledge of what to eat and in what quantities is a prerequisite to the healthy and happy life. The average nutritional requirements of groups of people are fixed and depend on such measurable characteristics such as age, sex, height, weight and degree of activity and rate of growth. Food is anything solid or liquid that has a chemical composition which enables it when swallowed to do one or more of the following. Provide the body with the material from which it can produce heat or any form of energy. Provide material to allow growth, maintenance, repair or reproduction to proceed. Supply substances which normally regulate the production of energy or the process of growth, repair of reproduction. Good nutrition requires a satisfactory diet which is capable of supporting the individual consuming it in a state of good health by providing the desired nutrients in required amounts. It must provide the right amount of fuel to execute normal physical activity. If the total amount of nutrients provided in the diet is insufficient, a state of undernutrition will develop. In addition, a poor diet coupled with a sedentary lifestyle are known to be risk factors for life-threatening chronic diseases and death, heart diseases, stroke, hypertension, diabetes and some forms of cancer. Food Habits Issues with food, weight and body images are not easy to talk about. Most people are looking for ready-to-eat, a magic pill or the latest popular diet. But the reality is that there are no magic secrets or quick tips when it comes to managing your heating habits and maintaining a healthy weight. Healthy eating is really a very simple concept. An adequate diet should provide the necessary calories to supply the required energy, proteins and minerals for building and repair of body cells, vitamins and minerals to supply the protective materials. The body derives its energy mainly from fats and carbohydrates such as butter, oil, ghee, cereals, pulses, sugar, cheese, its body building materials from milk, eggs, meat, fish and cheese supplemented by cereals, pulses and nuts and its protective materials from the minerals and vitamins of milk, cream, butter, egg, cheese, fruits, vegetables, particularly green raw vegetables. It is pointed out that it is unnecessary for the housewife to calculate the number of calories, the amount of protein, this particular vitamin or that particular mineral she was supplying in the daily diet of a family. We suggest that a diet made of the following foods would provide all the necessary nutrients. Milk, at least half liter daily and more for children. Cheese and pulses, at least once per day fish or eggs, once in 2-3 to three days for non-vegetarians. This can be supplemented by dry fruits for vegetarians. Fruit at least once daily, preferably in breakfast. Vegetable, two kinds daily and including one green vegetable. Salad should also be taken with each meal. Fat, butter, or ghee or oil. Cereals. Wheat flour is the most valuable. Water. About 2 litre daily. Half in the form of water 
and remaining can be in the form of milk, tea, coffee or juice. Then eat any other foods you like in order to satisfy your appetite. The more varied in the diet, the less likely it is to be deficient in any one nutrient. Importance of Fruits in Diet Fruits are one of the oldest forms of food known to man. Fresh and dry fruits are the natural staple food of man. They contain substantial quantities of essential nutrients in a rational proportion. They are excellent sources of minerals, vitamins and enzymes. They are easily digested and exercise a cleansing effect on the blood and the digestive tract. Persons subsisting on this natural diet will always enjoy good health. Moreover, the ailments caused by the intake of unnatural food can be successfully treated by fruits. Fresh and dry fruits are thus not only a good food but also a good medicine. Fruits are at their best when eaten in the raw and ripe state. In cooking, they lose portion of the nutrients, salt and carbohydrates. They are most beneficial when taken as a separate meal by themselves, preferably for breakfast in the morning. A combination of fruits with meal is not considered good. If it becomes necessary to take fruits with regular food, they should form a large portion of the meals. Fruits, however, make better combination with milk than with meals. It is also desirable to take one kind of fruit at a time.